Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a, a home run in pizza. This is a classic cheese pizza, Chicago's Premium Pizzeria. It says that it was established in 1947. Pretty cool. Uh, this was only $6.99 at Meyer, which is a really good price for a one pound, 11 ounce pizza. Uh, it's, it's a good size box. So let me see, how do I, does it have a tear thing? It does not have a tear thing. So, where do you open it? I can, I can figure this out. <laughs> okay. You want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Try not to slit your finger open when you take it out. Okay, this is how it looks. It's very flat. Um, I was not expecting that. It says, our pizza is partially baked and the cheese is melted covering the sauce. Make sure you put the pizza in the oven cheese side up. Look for the brown cheese spots. Uh, place pizza directly on the middle rack, no pan necessary. Bake for 15 to 17 minutes or to your satisfaction. Okay, so is there a piece of cardboard underneath? Mm. Oh no, this is it. So this is what the bottom looks That's like. Cool. And then this is the top. So you can see a little, a little bit of the sauce through it. So we're gonna put this in for 17 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is the pizza after uh, the 17? full- 17 minutes, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we kept it in the full 17 minutes. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. And it's very it was a little thick. floppy when we pulled it out of the oven, but it's it's crispy. But it, it seems like the cheese is really thick. So yeah. maybe that's why it seems like a little floppy. Because, um, yeah. It's also a big pizza. Yes, it, it is a, a, I think it's bigger than what we're used to. So let me see what all I can tell you. It says all natural, made from scratch. Uh, they slice theirs in squares. Oh, yeah, they did slice it in squares, like uh, Sir Pizza. wonder if Sir Pizza still cuts theirs like and that. And then Sir Pizza in 20, 30 years? Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably 30 years. Uh, it says, our grandparents making pizza in 1947, there's and there's picture. a picture on the back. It says, family with a dream. Our family came from Italy in the 1920s with a dream to connect people over pizza. In 1947, when they served square-cut snack-sized pizza at our Southside Chicago Tavern across from local baseball fields, the neighborhood was thrilled. It was love at first bite. The family dream came true, and the world of pizza was never the same. Years later, our same family recipe from 1947 is making its way throughout the country, and we couldn't be more proud. Staying true to our roots, we hope you open up a cold drink and enjoy your pie while watching the ball game with your family. So, it's made from scratch, simple ingredients. Um, it, it says six servings are in the pizza. One sixth is 400 calories. www.homerunandpizza.com. One, one, one of these slices is 400 calories. That's because I did a sixth of crazy, the pizza. crazy town. Yeah, the whole pizza is 2,400 calories. Uh, it <laughs> says uh, they're made in Woodridge, Illinois. Um, and the, the, honestly, the ingredients on the back, there's not a lot of ingredients. Um, there's lots of cheese, whatever it is. Yeah, there's a ton of cheese. I'm trying to see, it just says, yeah, cheese cultures, yeah, lots of cheese. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's where all your calories are coming from, is the cheese. You know what that reminds me she of? She does a lot of flavor. That reminds me, go back to your childhood, going back to King's Island. Mm. Yeah, I am. And yeah. you, going back to King's Island. Somebody's pizzeria, I can't remember. Yeah, it, you, you go into, uh, the, uh, there's a muse, an amusement park in um, Ohio in Cincinnati called King's Island. And uh, for a while it was like Paramount's King's Island. Um, but this reminds me of that pizza. It does. The cheese. It's the cheese. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't remember. It was something's pizzeria, like Tony's Pizzeria or something like that. It wasn't Mama something's. It I might don't have know. been. It might I be now. Know. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know. But 
It does kind of remind you that because the cheese is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. um, the crust has got a good crunch to it, but it's not like really thin and crunchy. Yeah, you just got to break it. Um, the sauce is a little sweet. It's not really what I'd consider mm -hmm. savory sauce. It's more of a sweet sauce. Yeah. But the star of the show is the cheese. I mean, you're buying it for the cheese. Mm -hmm. But that's really delicious. Kevin has actually... And the sauce. I mean, you, you're really, you really do taste that sauce Yes, you do. Yeah. Um, Kevin has reviewed, I think, all the home run-in varieties that there are in the single that we serving. That we do, get, In the single serving on his Lunchtime Review channel. So, Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review. And... The thing about that channel is it is a microwave-only channel. Unless so, it's shelf-stable. So, or something. if the makers of the particular frozen food or frozen pizza or whatever, if they give microwave directions, Kevin will microwave That's it. Right. A lot of things say don't have microwave directions, and then he doesn't microwave them. But if they're confident enough to give microwave directions, he's going to try it. So... He has reviewed these on his channel. I have no idea what he said about this one. I don't know what the experience was like in the microwave versus the oven because I, I never had them. Uh, I can tell you right now, uh, Home Run and Pizza is our daughter's favorite pizza. Like, mm -hmm. this is the pizza she buys all the time. Did you try some of that crust in the back? Uh-uh. I worked my way back to where I could try it. It's almost, uh, like, flaky. I'm wondering, um, which I wish I had asked her, which flavor I'll have to ask her and and because we have more to review and I'll try to get an answer and see which is the one she likes to buy. She brought up one that I didn't buy. Uh, she brought up, I think, the one with uh, like onion and peppers or something like that, I think. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's the one I didn't get. It is good. I remember vaguely the flavors being the same, but it's not the same experience when you microwave it because it's very, it gets kind of dried out. Um, you know, it like has crust. the crust. I like it too. It has a, a yeasty flavor. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost flaky. And when we were, uh, when we opened the oven to take it out, I thought, I smell the the yeast. I mean, it's not... Like baked bread. Yeah, it's not as strong as like when you make your yeast rolls, mm -hmm. but it, you still do smell that yeast. Well... I think the edge of the crust um, was rose a little bit mm -hmm. while I was in the oven. I do think it got it got thicker on the edges because I don't remember it being that thick. <clears throat> I think it's good. <laughs> um, I do really think it's good. I do like the flavor of the pizza. I wish it had a little more savory flavor to it, but this is the cheese, so maybe the cheese just doesn't have as much savory. You get more in, when you get the meats, like the pepperoni and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, their sauce is just not really what I'd consider a savory sauce at all. Um, but I like it. I really do like this pizza yeah. though. Now, I think it. I think it's very nice. It does remind me of old school. Now I can't speak. We haven't been to Kings Island in years. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like when I was 13 like years. Yeah, I'm talking about in the 80s when I was like 13 years old. Um, this is what that pizza tasted yeah, like, and, I agree. and it was packed. People mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that it replaces my number one cheese pizza, mm -hmm. but it's pretty good. It's up there. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The calories is what kills me because it's very high. That's what I'm thinking too. Is um, the calories are a killer, but um, it's it's a really good cheese pizza. Mm. The reason the calories are killer though is because Kevin and I usually half it because that's just how we do. He'll eat half and I'll eat half. So for me, 1,200 calories. calories is a lot. Mm. Um, that's a lot of calories, but. It is really delicious. Mm -hmm. um, it is it's also a, a big pizza too, though. It is big. It tastes different. It tastes the cheese tastes completely different than like a a Bessie's Revenge uh, Screaming Sicilian. Motor City, any of those. Motor City, it tastes different. Um, yeah, it just it does. But I do really like it. Like mm -hmm. like this would be in my top five if yeah, I had oh, yeah. to. Definitely would probably be more like in my top three. Of just cheese. Just cheese. If I had to pick just a cheese pizza, yeah, this would probably go that. in my top three. Yeah, I can see because that. it is good and it's cheap. 
Yeah. Yeah, this this was only six ninety nine, and that was at Meyer. Meyer's more expensive than other stores, mm -hmm. so it's probably cheaper if you get it at Walmart. Yeah. If they so, sell it at Walmart. Um, pre, I was thinking they did. Yeah, I, I was thinking I they did. Remember. But we have more to try. We have three more that we bought, so we're going to be doing more reviews. Um, so if you're interested, please uh, tune in for those. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.